How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and in this video I'm going to be talking about some Call of Duty Ghost news so it should be pretty exciting. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so Google AdSense Advertising has just revealed that GameStop's next pre-order bonus for Call of Duty Ghost will be Freefall, a dynamic bonus map. This is pretty much all we know at the moment because GameStop has just announced this but I'm sure they're going to be doing a commercial sometime soon because uh, as you know GameStop competes with Best Buy and Walmart and Target etc and eBay, wherever you may uh, try to purchase Black Ops 2 or, or Ghost, etc. So they want to offer the best pre-order bonus they can. Uh, 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 an example I can give you guys like this is Microsoft offering Activision money to get the DLC first for them. Um, GameStop essentially paid Call of Duty and Activision to get the coolest pre-order bonus for them instead of guys like Best Buy or Walmart, like I'm saying. So, uh, Mark Rubin, one of the creative directors for uh, Infinity Ward, said that Call of Duty Ghost was going to have dynamic maps. But the way this is put in air quotes, it's freefall dynamic bonus map. I'm wondering if there's only going to be a few dynamic maps. Now, we've seen dynamic maps before in the past, uh, so really more in Black Ops 1, where a great example would be uh, radiation, where you could press a switch and close a gate that would uh, essentially stop people from coming down up top on the B flag, which was actually a huge, huge, huge deal uh, if you're playing a really close domination game. Uh, and then there were little things here and there, like the train, and uh, you know, just other little things that would kind of get in your way or uh, would move around on the map. So just little things like that. But Freefall, a dynamic bonus map. I'm wondering if all the maps aren't going to be dynamic, and only a few of them are going to be. So uh, that's a pretty interesting concept because at the beginning I was sold on the idea that all the maps are going to be dynamic in some way and that they were going to have, you know, whatever Mark Rubin said, like traps, falling trees, uh, objects that might move and get in your way. But, um, you know, who really knows? I I'm not really sure at this point. As far as the map freefall, um, I don't really know what to make of that because... I'm assuming, I mean, it sounds good for a dynamic map. Obviously, something's going to be falling. If you don't know what a free fall is, if you've gone to, like, a, an amusement park or a theme park uh, and you go on one of the rides that, like, takes you up to the very top, it kind of waits you there for a second and drops you down very rapidly. That is what a free fall is. So a few things I've kind of thought of a little bit is uh, Nuketown 2025. Now, Nuketown 2025 wasn't a GameStop pre-order only, but it was a just if you pre-ordered it anywhere. So looks like GameStop has dropped a little bit more cash to get this exclusive uh, pre-order game uh, than most people. But one issue that I've kind of come up with is not everyone orders from GameStop or not everyone has a GameStop in their area. A lot of people only have, you know, a Walmart or Target or Best Buy and that might really, really, really cut down the amount of players you have in a certain lobby because if you know the algorithm for searching for players, it goes, uh, it looks at your connection and then it looks at all the DLC that you have. So if one person doesn't have DLC or a third of the population doesn't have DLC, in this case the free fall dynamic bonus map, it's going to be tough to find, you know, a good mix of players. So I'm hoping that down the line uh, it will be you know become free for everyone else I'm sure like Newtown 2025 after like that November December January rush it will be required uh, to be free which I think uh should be pretty cool uh, although I kind of like the idea of being able to turn Nuketown off because sometimes Nuketown isn't my favorite map and you know every time Nuketown comes in the lobby someone's gonna vote for it so um I, I wish they they could do a little bit better job on that and hopefully that ends up being the case so you guys, anyways, I want to let you guys know uh, that that, like I said, that is the pre-order bonus, the dynamic map free fall uh, for GameStop. If you go ahead and pre-order it right now, I'm sure that uh, the GameStop guys will be telling you, oh, we only have limited copies. Don't believe that. You can go in any time and pre-order it. So no rush right there. But I want you guys to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this pre-order bonus. Is it cool? Do you like it? Is it better? Is it worse? Is it the same? You don't really care. You're still getting it anyways. Of course, guys, leave a like and a favorite if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new. Stay tuned for some awesome Buried and uh, Vengeance gameplay today or tomorrow, I guess I should say. Anyways, guys, take care. Have a good day. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.